Hey everybody, welcome back to our reading of Psalm. Today we're only going to be reading one Psalm because it's a little bit longer. We're going to read Psalm chapter 37. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance, but the Lord just laughs, for he sees their day of judgment coming. The wicked draw their swords and string their bows to kill the poor and the oppressed, to slaughter those who do right. But the swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken. It is better to be godly and have little than to be evil and rich. For the strength of the wicked will be shattered, but the Lord takes care of the godly. Day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent, and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in a field. They will disappear like smoke. The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. Those the Lord blesses will possess the land, but those he curses will die. The Lord directs, directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Once I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. The godly always give generous loans to others and their children are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, and you will live in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice, and he will never abandon the godly. He will keep them safe forever, but the children of the wicked will die. The godly will possess the land and will live there forever. The godly offer good counsel. They teach right from wrong. They have made God's law their own, so they will never slip from his path. The wicked wait in ambush for the godly, looking for an excuse to kill them. But the Lord will not let the wicked succeed or let the godly be condemned when they are put on trial. Put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. He will honor you by giving you the land. You will see the wicked destroyed. I have seen wicked and ruthless people flourishing like a tree in its native soil. But when I looked again, they were gone. Though I searched for them, I could not find them. Look at those who are honest and good, for a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. But the rebellious will be destroyed. They have no future. The Lord rescues the godly. He is, he is their fortress in times of trouble. The Lord helps them rescuing from the wicked. He saves them and they find shelter in him. This is so powerful, and this is a constant message throughout the Bible or throughout Psalm. Uh, when there's something he says, uh, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. And I think this is super important for us. You know, I always tell people, uh, he's a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And that doesn't sound very far ahead. And I'm okay with that because he directs the steps of the godly. And some of you in this moment, you're waiting for the next steps. And God's just saying step. I don't know if you ever saw that the movie with Indiana Jones, where it's like, you can't see the step in front of you until you step and touch it. And every time you step and touch it, the rock appears. Years. And one of the things that I've learned is as I pray and as I seek the Lord and have the mind of Christ, I'm going to continually move ahead. And the Lord told me one time, he said, I, I, I can't steer a parked car. I need you to move and you let me steer. Let me direct you. Right. But, but that doesn't mean you stop moving. There's a difference in waiting on the Lord in a stop position or trusting in the Lord and the word, the word rest to wait, to trust in the Lord. The word rest doesn't mean a stopped movement. It actually means forward movement unhindered by your enemies. 
when he would tell the people, you know, when he would tell the Israelites, he would say, I'm going to give you rest from your enemies. I would give you rest. That didn't mean that they weren't going to move forward and continue to go. That means their enemies were no longer going to hinder their movement and God was going to direct their path. And so I want to encourage you today. Some of you are just in a sitting pattern waiting for God to tell you what to do, but he wants faith. And then you got to trust that he'll direct you, that he'll close the doors that need to be closed. He'll open the, open the ones that need to be opened. And I'm going to encourage you to step out today for the steps. Listen to what it says right here. Uh, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. It doesn't say he steps for you. He just says it directs the steps. So we'd love to hear what God's speaking to you in this. Make sure you're underlining, highlighting, and then let us know what does God say to you about chapter 27 or 37 or whatever chapter we're on right now. If you like today's video, check out the Here Be Lions app for more resources.